Hello everyone, let us continue mechanical properties of fluids. Surface tension is the property of the liquid due to which the free surface of the liquid acts like a stretched membrane which tries to contract and occupy minimum surface area. Surface tension can be defined in another way also that is surface tension is the surface energy per unit area of free surface or you can define it like this it is the tangential force per unit length acting normally on either side of an imaginary line drawn on the liquid surface. Let us see some more points about surface tension. So, surface tension can be written as it is force divided by length. It is a vector quantity since it has direction. Its SI unit is Newton per meter. It decreases with increase in temperature and vanishes at critical temperature where the surface vanishes due to the transformation of liquid to vapor. Means when we heat the liquid, what happens? When temperature increases, surface tension decreases. At the point where the liquid is uh, converted into gaseous state, that is vapor, that time surface tension vanishes. Impurities such as soap, decreases the surface tension of the liquids. This is because of less adhesive force between soap and liquid molecules. So when we add soap to water, surface tension decreases. Impurities such as salt and sugar increases the surface tension of the liquids. This is because of more adhesive force between impurities and liquid molecules. Means when soap is added to water surface tension decreases but when we add salt sugar then surface tension of the liquid increases the dust particles or lubricant material particles on the liquid surface decreases the surface tension of the liquids this is because of less adhesive force between them now let us see what is meaning of angle of contact? So in the diagram you can see a solid surface on that liquid drop then there is a contact between liquid and that surface. So angle of contact is the angle between the tangent drawn to the liquid surface at the point of contact and the solid surface with within the liquid. So point of contact between the liquid surface and the solid surface within the liquid is known as angle of contact. The angle of contact is less than 90 degree that is acute for concave meniscus. The liquids having acute angle wets the surfaces which are in contact. So the liquid which wets the surface if we see the angle of contact for such liquid it will be less than 90 degree here you can take one example here water on glass so water wets the glass surface the angle of contact between ordinary glass and ordinary water is acute it is about 8 degree The angle of contact is more than uh, greater than 90 degree but less than 180 degree that is obtuse for convex meniscus. The liquid having obtuse angle doesn't wet the surfaces. For example, you can take example of mercury on glass. So if you observe the angle is obtuse here. This angle is obtuse. The angle of contact between mercury and any surface is obtuse. It is about 135 degree. So the angle of contact can have any value between 0 degree and 180 degree. 
the angle of contact between uh, smooth glass surface and pure water if you take it is zero now let us see very interesting one that is about capillary tube what is this capillary tube you can observe here it is a glass tube having fine bore of uniform diameter here you can observe this is glass envelope and inside you can see a small fine bore here means it is a hole like and it has a uniform diameter this is called capillary tube what is capillarity then capillarity is nothing but if we take a capillary tube and if it is uh, dipped in a liquid in some liquid there is a rise of the level of the liquid and when we dip the capillary tube in some liquid there is a decrease in the level so what is capillarity the rise or fall of the liquid from its free surface in the capillary tube dipped partially in a liquid is called capillarity or capillarity action the rise or fall of the liquid from its free surface in the capillary tube dipped partially in a liquid is called capillarity when a capillary tube is dipped in a liquid and if that liquid wets the surface the liquid level rises but in case of liquids which does not wet the surface the liquid level depressed means it decreases below the free surface you can observe it here in the first diagram means here the in this figure here water is filled in that if we dip the capillary tube and it is dipped partially you can see slowly the water level is increased so this is increase in the level in the second figure you can observe mercury so it is not uh, means it doesn't wet the surface if it is partially capillary tube is partially dipped in mercury you observe the level here this is free surface and compare the level here it is decreased okay so this is capillarity now let us see some applications of surface tension formation of drops due to surface tension a small quantity of liquid free from external forces always takes up a spherical shape the molecules lying on the outer surface of the liquid drop will experience resultant force acting inward and perpendicular to the surface of liquid drop therefore the pressure inside the drop is greater than pressure outside so if you take a drop of water here and if you see the pressure inside and outside this drop pressure inside the drop is greater than pressure outside so this excess pressure inside the drop will provide a force acting outward perpendicular to the surface which balances the force due to surface tension so for example rain drops are spherical in shape due to surface tension even you can take formation of bubbles so you can observe bubbles here due to surface tension the liquid bubble free from external force always takes up spherical shape here also reason is same the pressure inside the bubble is greater than pressure outside so soap bubbles are spherical in shape due to surface tension generally for a liquid gas interface the convex side has higher pressure than the concave side so as we have learnt what is capillarity capillarity is nothing but it is rise or fall of the liquid from its free surface in the capillary tube dipped partially in a liquid it is called capillarity or capillarity action and it is due to surface tension
Now let us see action of detergents. Clothes containing dirt like oil and grease are difficult to wash with ordinary water. Correct? Because the ordinary water cannot wet the oil and grease as its surface tension is relatively more. Then how to clean such clothes? When the detergents are added to water, what happens to the surface tension? It decreases. When dirty clothes are dipped in soap water, it wets the oil and grease. Without the soap, surface tension is high. So, the ordinary water cannot wet the oil and the grease. But when soap is added or detergent is added, then what happens? Surface tension decreases. In such water, if dirty clothes are dipped, it wets the oil and grease. If now water is rushed through the clothes, it pulls out the dirt from them. Thus detergents are used to clean dirty clothes. Now mathematically how to calculate surface tension? There is an expression for surface tension. Let us see what is that. That is T is equal to rho G H R divided by 2 cos theta. Here, rho is density of the liquid, g is acceleration due to gravity, h is capillary rise, r is radius of the capillary tube and theta is the angle of contact. Even for capillary rise also there is an expression. It is represented by h. h is equal to 2t cos theta divided by rho g r. Here also H is the capillary rise, T is surface tension, theta is angle of contact, rho is density of the liquid, G is acceleration due to gravity and R is radius of the capillary tube. If you take pure water and clean glass surface, then theta will be 0. So if you substitute theta is equal to 0, Surface tension will be T is equal to rho G H R divided by 2 and capillary rise formula will be H is equal to 2 T divided by rho G R. Now let us take some practical applications of capillarity. Very interesting one. Okay, you can observe here the tip of the nib of a pen. Why it is split? It is split to provide capillary, uh, capillary action for rise of ink. So when you start writing ink should come out. No? So the tip of the nib of a pen is split to provide capillary action for rise of ink. Similarly if you take example of blotting paper it absorbs the ink. Correct. It is also capillary action because it consists of number of pores. So paper has a number of pores because of that it absorbs the ink. It is nothing but it is capillary action. Similarly one best example is water reaches every branch of the plant by capillary action, the roots and every branch of the plant. If you take a sponge, it absorbs water. It is nothing but it is a capillary action only. Similarly, if you take cotton wick, since it contains fine pores and it acts as capillary, capillary tubes, number of capillary, capillaries, due to surface tension, oil rises through these pores and reaches the tip of the wick. Hence, a lamp burn continuously. These are some practical applications. One more uh, you can say it is illustration for surface tension very uh, practically observed one that is when a paint brush is dipped in water what happens its hair will be spread out as is shown in this first one okay you can observe here 
But when the brush is taken out, you observe it here. The hair cling together as shown in this figure. This is because the thin films of water between the hair try to contract due to surface tension. So these are some illustrations for surface tension as well as practical applications of capillarity. Even for uh, practical uh, applications of capillarity you can take this example also. Uh, we use a towel to dry our body after the bath uh, which absorbs the water by capillary action. So number of examples can be given to it. So this is about surface tension. You just observe it here. When a drop of water falls, it will be spherical in shape. It is due to surface tension. The same you imagine like this when a molten metal is allowed to fall in small quantities into the water from a suitable height, the liquid acquires the spherical shape due to surface tension. This method is used for preparing spherical lead shots also. See, when molten metal is allowed to fall, like this only, the water, it takes spherical shape. No? So, this can be used, this method can be used for preparing spherical lead shots. So, this is about the mechanical properties of fluids. Thank you.